In this video, you will learn how to create contour plots like this one here. And also stick around all the way to the end for a special contour plot. Hi and welcome to this new video. We will together use the interactive Python shell in order to create the contour plots. Let's start by importing numpy as np and we also need a matplotlib.pyplot as plt. A contour plot in two dimensions are the ISO line of a scalar field that depends on two variables. Therefore, let's discretize the variables in each of the axes. We will therefore start with a discretized x component, which we can create by the help of numpy.linspace. And we want to have it linearly spaced from minus two to two with 500 values. For y, we want to do the same, also from minus two to two 500 values. And then we can create a two dimensional mesh with the command numpy mesh grid which will be saved in capital X and capital Y. So this equals np.meshgrid of X and Y. And then we can evaluate our scalar field. The first one we want to look at is given as numpy.sine of X plus numpy.cosine of Y. Then let's switch to the interactive mode for matplotlib. And let's bring up a figure. And I will bring it all the way here so that we can always see it. And then the important command works as following. We do plt.contour and plug in x, y, and z. And then it already created the contour plot. We see the ISO lines of the function together with a color key for the value of the scalar field at this position. We can activate a color scale plt.colorbar in order to get information on which value is indicated with a certain color. Let us clear the plot and look at a similar command. So plt.clf and then we will do plt.contour but we will do contour f and this will then create a contour plot but the intermediary areas are filled with the corresponding color value. So we can also activate the color bar here and then we see the value of the function. Let's clear the plot once again and we can also change the number of levels. So these are the number of ISO lines created. So let's for instance create 30 ISO lines and then we see the transition is way smoother. You can also manually select from which value to which value you want to have ISO lines. For instance with Vmin being minus 1 and Vmax being 0 0.5 and then we see that I have a small typo here. So this should be Vmax. And then we see we can't cover this area anymore because it's a value too high. Let's clear the plot and also clear the screen. And I now want to look at a special contour plot. And for this, we will use the following function x squared or opening bracket x squared plus y squared minus one closing brackets to the third power minus x to the power of two times y to the power of three. And then let's bring up the contour function again, but I want to use the regular contour function here. And let's also ignore the other arguments for a second. And then by executing this, you will see, you will get the hard shape. So this scalar field we are defining has contour lines that follow the shape of a heart. We could now also change the color map that is indicating the scalar value to something that is a little more reddish. So let's use cmap and say reds. But now it is not the way we want. So we want high red values for the heart here. So let's invert the set coordinate and then we have a really strong heart in the center. And maybe it's even more beautiful if you make the contour f function. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please leave a like and consider subscribing or sending it to someone you want to share the contour function of a heart with. Here you will now see similar videos and I hope to see you in the next videos.